Welcome to another episode of Latif's Inspired. I am in London's Bond Street to check out this amazing restaurant. It's trickling down with some uh, rainwater. So do you know what? I'm going to try to get to the destination and I'll speak to you. So this is James Street, just off Oxford Street, and I just got out of Bond Street. So this is my spot, the Zafran restaurant. Right, I am in London, the heart of London, just off Oxford Street, and this is called James Street, right? Yeah. So this is James Street. The reason why I've come to this restaurant, I mean, if you follow my recipes, and I always say before eating, Bismillah. So the reason why I say that is because first and foremost, I'm a Muslim, and this restaurant actually caters for the Muslim community. When I saw this on Instagram, I mean, this restaurant is called Zafran. It's uh, 27 James Street. So 27 James Street. So this is Abdullah, and he's actually one of the owners of Zafran, and he's taking his time out to speak to me. And I've come here specifically because obviously it says 100% halal restaurant. So they're not serving any alcohol, and all the food is 100% halal. So when I've spoken to one of the managers, and she told me most of the clients or the uh, biz, uh, customers that come in here, the majority. Muslims but I think this is a gem of a restaurant and I want to talk about the food because these gentlemen are from India and I'm gonna ask where, which part of India they're from and what sort of food they actually do so if he if you uh, Abdullah if you give me some time can you just explain yourself yeah Alhamdulillah so we are basically from a city called uh, Bangalore basically uh, we come back come down from a background of construction and real estate back home and uh, food has been a passion so we have a couple of restaurants in Bangalore as well and then we also have uh, we are into the hospitality sector as well we have a resort so the first time we came we were thinking of uh, uh, experimenting with the European market so the first time we came uh, we, s we took a look at London and then uh, we also took a look at uh, the market in Germany and uh, then uh, we also did a little bit of uh, recce in Paris but then I felt London is like home you know like because uh, over here everything happens in English over there either we need to know German or French what fascinated me when he was just saying, so you studied the market, right? Yes. So uh, Abdullah comes from the construction uh, background, so he's got businesses in construction, uh, but he wanted to do a restaurant, right? Yes. In Europe, yeah. but you didn't know. So he was he was searching. Uh, you looked at Germany. Yes. And France, did you say? Yes. But you chose UK. Yes. UK is a big uh, curry eating industry, yes. Yes. as you know. Like they say, the national dish is that like the chicken the tikka chicken masala, right? So you know the British curry industry yes. is huge uh, in 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 UK. So when did you start Zafran? So we we opened Zafran like uh, two months back, but the whole idea we've been uh, working on this project for almost more than a year now. All right, so you started two months ago. Yeah, we just opened two months. So guys, ago. this is quite exclusive. Yeah. This is two months in and I'm here to do the food review. So they must be doing something really nice uh, within that two months. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so if you just uh, take a look at our reviews, you can know, like, yeah. you know, like our customers are, most of the customers are quite happy. I mean, kind of food that we serve, yeah. you've got here some of the usual suspects. Uh, that's, you know, you've got uh, Papa Dams, Samosa Chaat, yeah. Um, you do some tandoori dishes, mm -hmm. you got the Rogan Josh, but what I find different here, mm -hmm. like you got the Nali Gosht. Yeah, that's the lamb shank. Lamb shank. <laughs> so you got the lamb shank and you have, um, I also seen something, um, the Shahi kor Korma. Yeah, and this is also a speciality from our city. Bangalore, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's where you're from. Yes. And uh, Chetinan, yeah? Yeah, Chetinan. Chetinan. That's South Indian. Uh, Sa South Indian. Sorry. That's a lot of spices in that dish. Uh, we tone it down. You tone Aspen, it down. Uh, market over here, yeah. But um, I spoke to your manager and she said uh, quite a lot of the customers here like the biryani. Yes, yes. Is that something that you specialize in? Yes, uh, the biryani is like top selling. Top selling. Yes, yeah. especially the king prawn biryani and yes. the lamb biryani yeah people just love the biryani people love. now yeah. this is this is something 
the British uh, love a good alcohol like a pint or wine and stuff like that so when they come to an Indian restaurant they expect to serve alcohol so Abdullah how do you get around not serving alcohol to the so, British uh, public? A lot of people who come over here like most of the people like uh, say about uh, 8 out of 10 people they are okay to have food without alcohol okay, wow. so the moment they come in they ask do you have alcohol we say no we don't serve alcohol they're like okay we can go about without having alcohol today we'll just enjoy the food yeah so it's just like uh, two out of ten people they just tell us you know like uh, oh sorry we'll have to move out to a different area because we need some drinks yeah. on the food so it's okay it's no, yeah. no problem so it's not a huge problem. Yeah, yeah, no problem so you've got your normal be beverages you've got your colas your diet colas you've got lemonades mm -hmm. you have some juices as well orange passion fruit etc and you have something uh, quite special nimbu pani yeah yes nimbu yeah you make that special over. yeah so that's like a lemonade right yes the lemonade with the mango, salt yeah uh, black and salt the, yeah the mango lassi mango lassi yeah and yeah the sweet and salt lassi it's amazing you should try it see oh yeah. see this is the thing um when you're having some nice juices uh the food has to be exceptional and good so when the food is exceptionally good and you're having some soft drinks it emphasizes the taste of the food so rather when you have a uh, uh, an alcoholic beverage or wine or whatever you think I want I want to pair this wine with that and so on but when you're having this Asian South Asian food and then you have something like a mango lassi and when you're having uh, something so spicy and then that that yogurty the drink it actually you know firstly it calms down the spices and it actually uh, elevates the flavor of the food I find anyway and uh, there's millions and billions of people in South Asia right Bangladesh Pakistan India so they've been having uh, this forever and ever so when you're coming to Zafran what enticed me is this uh, non-alcoholic and it's 100% halal so when you come in here I mean if uh, Muslim people you have to specifically look at restaurants what's who serves halal and who uh, sometimes majority of restaurants when it's chicken that's halal but the other things they serve isn't halal and in this restaurant they're serving chicken they're serving lamb uh, prawn yes, yeah prawns, yes. king prawns yes. fish yes fish so four different type of proteins and that's 100 percent halal yes. and the environment i mean if you can see over here very nice very chic nice and elegant there seems to be about about 20 to 30 seats um so it's nice and comfortable and this is james street yeah 30 yeah seats. 30 seats yeah. So this is James Street and when you're walking up and down James Street, there's so many restaurants, you can choose whichever cuisine you want, yeah? So these gentlemen over here are very brave to, this, to do this amazing restaurant and I'm so happy I found this restaurant and it, you've been open for two months, right? So this is two months and from what I've seen, the reviews are fantastic and the food looks e exceptional to be fair and they're actually going to show me to the kitchen and I want to show you guys the amazing food that they do. What, uh, what enticed me to come in here, I want to show that to you as well. So, so these guys come from the food background. So they know their food and they know what they're doing and they actually researched the market for London, right? Yes. And uh, we are so happy that they come to London and they chose London because, you know, UK, we're big on curry. I've been in the curry industry all my life. And I've had loads of restaurants running, uh, you know, British Indian restaurant cuisine. But these gentlemen are from India and they, 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 they their, their food is totally different to ours, unfortunately. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we cook uh, with the base gravy so we make a, 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 a curry base and then we cook every single curry made to order however over here i've seen they do the nali which is the lamb shank and you cook you cook that for a long time right right, right, right. right? It's cooked overnight, yeah. Oh, yeah so this dish is actually cooked overnight so a few hours yeah yeah, yeah? so a few hours from the start from the uh, geese and the oils and the ginger and the garlic and it gets rendered and all that fat just comes out to the sauce so i'm quite i want I want, to, I, want, I want them to show me how this dish is going to be and the flavor of the nali that yes, comes out, yes. you know, the bone marrow. So this is going to be absolutely gorgeous from what I, from what I can just think about the curry. So I hope um, you guys can take this opportunity to take, enjoy my experience at Zafran in the heart of London. So if you're doing shopping, Selfridge is around the corner, right? Just two minutes away from here. Yeah. So if you're shopping at good old Miss Selfridges, you can come here just around the corner, have a proper Indian food 
proper Indian as he's not British Indian. It's his Indian food run by Indian family and a Muslim family. And the most important thing is these brothers, they're here themselves. And when you know the, what the owners are in the restaurant, you know the food's going to be fantastic. So I'm hoping for a good food, gentlemen. Time. Are you going to show us your kitchen? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Pleasure. I love going to the kitchen. This is what a chef's are all about. I like seeing that cooking environment. And these guys have invited me to the kitchen. Let's go and have a look. Assalamu alaikum. This is the very famous tandoori chef. Yes. And uh, best thing about here, are you from Pakistan or uh, from uh, India? India. This India. Is, Delhi. So this Delhi, yeah? Delhi. So the best thing about here, you're going to get people from India cooking your food. So when it's Indian food, no, uh, from Indian background, authenticity hand in hand. Now the best thing here, he, the, one of the, uh, the owners, Abdullah, he said you, you have a charcoal tandoori, yeah? yeah. Can we see it? Very, very nice charcoal tandoori. Yeah? Very good flavor is the charcoal tandoori. See, the difference uh, in most restaurants is gas fired, unfortunately, because of the environment and what these guys are doing, they're bringing that authenticity back. I mean, when my dad was a chef, uh, all the tandoor was charcoal. However, now it's quite uh, hard to clean, right? Yeah, definitely. Very good. Yeah, very hard to clean, so people tend to go for the gas. But these guys are going to authenticity, that charcoal, so you get that smoky flavor. I can just imagine the lamb chops with that smoky, aromatic fragrance and the flavor is going to be absolutely gorgeous. I can imagine it. And I'm sure these guys are going to do some fantastic lamb chops, yeah? Lamb chop, yes. yeah? yeah? And the naans, you're going to get that smoky flavor. And the best thing is the heat. Uh, you know, when you manage the heat right, the naan, yeah? yeah? Both yeah. Very nice naan. Very nice, yeah. So, आज नान बनाएगा ना रोटी? हम आपको नान भी बनाएंगे, हम आपको तंदूरी बटर नान बनाएंगे, जो ऑथेंटिक बटर नान होता है, लच्छे वाला, हमारे इंडिया में जो चलता है, तो मैंने इंडिया में ताज पैलेस ग्रुप में 12 साल काम किया, उधर से मैं बियारस लिया और मैं ताज में, ताज में, वाव एक मिनट, एक मिनट, एक मिनट, एक मिन this guy has worked for 12 years in the Taj company. That's one of the best hotel chains in the world. It's up there with the Hiltons and so on. So 12 years experience, this gentleman, I, you know what? He said he's going to make me a naan, he's going to make me roti. I'll, I'll eat whatever he makes me. I, you know what? You. Nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. You know, me being a chef for, you know, quite a long time, over 20 years, when I meet, it's quite humbling and it's quite nice. And when we talk, you get that experience and I want to see him in action. So he's going to be showing us some amazing nuns. Let's go and meet the chef. Thank you. Thank you. So this is chef, guys. What's your Hi. name? Mohammed Mokshur Alam. Mohammed Mokshur Alam. So this is a chef also in India? Yeah. Yeah? From Kolkata. So Kolkata, Bengal, West yeah, Bengal. West Bengal. Uh, I'm Bangladeshi, yeah? <laughs> West Bengal. So this guy... He's got the uh, Indian background and also the team here is an Indian team, right? Yes, yes. So you're going to get that authentic authenticity which I've been banging on about. What are you going to make today for us? Uh, this butter chicken today I made. So guys, this is the butter chicken. They cook it in a nice little batch. And um, yeah, chicken on the bone here now or no, off the bone? Boneless. Boneless. Yeah. yeah, first chicken tikka kar sakta ho, baad mein is sauce yeah, mein de yeah. de. First you make the tandoor. Chicken tikka, yeah. smoke it and put it with gravy. So guys, this butter chicken, as you can see here, is char grilled tandoor chicken tikka. So you, that chicken tikka, you can just eat it on its own. Cooked into that amazing butter sauce, very flavorful. And I spoke to um, Abdul Rahman and Abdullah. They're saying they got the ch butter chicken as well as the chicken tikka masala on the menu. The butter chicken slightly on the mild side, chicken tikka masala a bit more spicier. He's asked me which ones do I want. I'm gonna go for something a bit different. Everyone's seen a butter chicken. Everyone serves a butter chicken, one of the most popular uh, dishes on Indian restaurant menus. And it's like a gateway into Indian food. So if you haven't experienced Indian food, start off with a butter chicken or a chicken tikka masala, and then you go into the spicier dishes. But today, uh, come here, Abdullah. So Abdullah, which part of India uh, did you say you're from? So we are from Bangalore. So they're from the Bangalore. South part of South Indian. South part. India. Yeah. So that's the IT capital of uh, the country. The capital. Yes. Right. So they're from Bangalore. And most of the dishes in British Indian restaurants are sort of North Indian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've got that creamy, rich sort yes. of flavor. However, the mm -hmm. South is more spicier. 
a little bit. A little bit more spicier. Not on the spicier side, but on the masala side, you know, you get the taste of masala. Yeah. yeah. So uh, spices, as in not the heat, but very flavorful spices. Yes, flavorful. And you have one of your dishes from yes. your back That's home, yeah. The Bangalore methi chicken. Yeah. So Bangalore methi chicken. Yeah. Chicken tikka methi, chicken methi dishes are very popular in Indian restaurants and these guys, that's their very famous dish from that region. I'm going to go for one of them. Is that going to be okay? Yes, yes definitely. Yeah? Yeah. Chef's going to show me a proper methi chicken and we're going to get some charcoal dishes from the tandoor. I can't wait. Let's see the guys in action. Guys, first and foremost, we're going to have some lamb chops. Lamb chops are the king of starters. So they're just foiling it up. So basically, you don't get the burnt bone. Beautiful, look at that. The charcoal, that smoky flavor. This is gonna be delicious. So this is the lamb shank. Look at this, look at that gravy. All that fat has been rendered down. It's been cooked for hours and hours and it's just heating this up, ready for service. Beautiful. Uh, Murk Malai Tikka. This is the Murk Malai. Okay. And uh, this is not have the spicy, very very mild. Very mild. Very mild. The cream, uh, creamy layer. Uh, so what, uh, is it is it yogurt or cream? Uh, yogurt, cream, and garlic and uh, Je- thyme. Thyme, yeah. 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 Chef, so you're making the chicken tikka now? This is the, the, the chicken tikka. So the guys, this is what yeah. you're used to, that yeah. orange uh, color because yeah. of the spices. This is the ori- original color, or- or- not color. My mouth is watering. I can't wait to eat this amazing food. Thank you, Chef. Right, really excited. Now, I've got a trio of starters. Lamb chops, and this is the... So over here, good how? The Morg Malai Tikka, they're selling that at 14 pounds. I'm having the chicken tikka as well. They're selling that at 14 pounds. And the la- marinated lamb chops, 18 pounds. Now, I'm really excited. Everything cooked here, I mean, from the char grill. Look at that. This is cooked with the charcoal tandoor. So you're going to get that smoky flavor. Smells divine. And you've got some green chutney, which must be made with the uh, coriander, the mint leaves, green chilies, and so on. Now, lamb chops, you have to go in with your hands. Beautiful, steaming away. A bit of that sauce. As always, bismillah. Very flavorful. It's not as spicy as I would have imagined, but that char flavor, that barbecue flavor, you definitely get it. Some lovely pomegranates. Mm. Wow. Beautiful. That charred flavour. Subtle spices with that yogurt, not extremely spicy at all. You can tell, definitely taste the lamb, absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna to have to go for this Malay cooked with the yogurt and the cream. Let's cut into it, and a bit of butter drizzled on top, served on a banana leaf. Amazing. Let's dip it in that sauce. Oh wow. 
That chicken is so soft, juicy and succulent still. And I have to show you how this is still juicy. Now this was only cooked for minutes in the tandoor. And a bit of cucumber, onions and tomato. Fantastic. This is good food. Normally I like my chicken with that spices, but he's told me all he's put here is yogurt, cream, I think just a bit of ginger and garlic, and he said for aromatics, thyme. Very flavorful that is. Chicken tikka, which what we normally use to. Let me have the most charred one, which is this one here. Zoom into that, man. Oh, look at that. I've seen this cooked, so it's not nothing pre-cooked. This is fresh from the tandoor to your plate. Get all that green chutney in. Fantastic. Very nice. See, I don't think this is breast of chicken. I think this is the thigh of chicken. That is extremely flavorful. As you know, the thigh is more flavor. This is flavor, flavor, flavor. 100% halal chicken in a halal environment. Fantastic. Amazing starters. Cool little spring water, nice and chilled for me. So this is the Bangalore chicken guys, chopped garlic, chicken yeah, nati masala, Kashmiri chili, cumin. So this is your Bangalore chicken guys, cooked in a little bit of oil, that garlic, cumin, cumin seeds, and then they added the methi, fried it for a bit, then they added the chicken, some masala, and now just adding some cream. Beautiful. Butter. Ready for the food. Some food going out, some steamed rice, the lamb shanks, the chicken tikka, sis kebab, and a little salad served on a lettuce leaf. Chef, which one's this? Naan? Butter naan. Butter naan. Special butter naan. Special butter naan. Wow. Like paratha. Like paratha. Beautiful. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Yeah, lamb biryani. Me rose water, kero water. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. 
Lacha Parata. Lacha Parata. Papa Parata. Lacha Parata. Zafran. Beautiful. Garlic naan, guys? Yes. Butter chicken, guys? Guys, Dai Puri. Right, now the food has arrived. Come check this. This is the lamb shank. I ordered something, I wanted something authentic. Here it is. Lovely thick sauce. Hopefully melt in your mouth lamb. And this is the chicken methi, Bangalore style. A compliment is a lacha butter parata and a lacha burata, uh, butter naan. So first and foremost, let's try this butter naan. Got these loads of different layers for that. This is a naan with loads of layers. Now, get that sauce. Oh, as always, bismillah. I think the layers on the, of the butter in the naan just elevates the flavour of the curry. Let's break into this. Look at that. Pink, juicy lamb. Wow. It's a big mouthful. That was a massive piece of lamb. Just melts like butter. So soft, so tender, very juicy. I mean, just look at this. Look at that. It's just breaking away. Enjoying this now. Right now, the chicken methi. I'm going to try the chicken methi with the parata. Look at that, the layers, lacha parata. So imagine like a chicken saguala, but with a stronger flavour. So the methi has got that slight bitter flavour to it. And some restaurants use the dried fenugreek leaves. However, this one is the fresh fenugreek leaves. So very flavourful. I mean, the spices are fantastic. It's quite well balanced. And the gravy is quite creamy because they've added a bit of cream. Very flavourful. Going to tuck in and enjoy. Fantastic meal guys, 
restaurant's getting extremely busy. I came a little bit earlier, it's about seven o'clock now, so every seat is nearly taken. So all I wanna say is, it's a fantastic meal, excellent experience. I really enjoyed that charcoal tandoor dishes. If you're coming to Zafran, you must try the tandoor dishes. Your yeah, chicken tikka was fantastic. That malai, the white chicken was beautiful. And uh, the chicken tikka was cooked with that thigh meat, so it was gorgeous in flavor. So the lamb chops, were very flavorful, not as spicy. However, that charcoal flavor just comes out. The lamb shank was a proper curry dish. So the sauce was rendered down, all that flavor came out, the bone marrow, all those flavors were in the sauce. So when I was having that butter naan, I was just mopping it up. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys will enjoy it when you come here. 100% halal restaurant. There's no alcohol being served. They got some soft drinks, they got your lassies. So a fantastic experience in central London, just off Oxford, or Oxford Street, nearest tube station, Bond Street. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like what I do, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos at Latif's Inspired. See you soon. Right, what an experience. That food was beautiful. It's quite expensive place and we had a trio of starters, the chicken tikka, the malai tikka, as well as the lamb chops. That itself, let's just say about 50 quid. And then the meal, uh, we had a chicken curry, which is the bank, um, which is the methi. And we also had uh, the lamb shanks. The lamb shanks is about 25 quid. Uh, the chicken curry, let's just say about 18 or 20 quid. So all in all about 45 pounds and the naans about another 50 quid or something. So that should have been about 100, 110 pounds. I wanted to pay. They pushed me out. They didn't let me pay. What lovely guys they were. L really amazing family. Those two brothers running that restaurant. I hope them all the success in the world, inshallah. And if you enjoy what we do, make sure to like, share and subscribe first and foremost. And if there's somewhere else that you want me to go and visit, let me know in the comment section and I would love to go. If it's a special little place, authentic, that's where I want to go. See you soon.